Hey, what's going on everybody? Salty Cool Kid here, and this shader mod, this reshade, is insane. This adds so much more life to the game and ups the saturation from the dull and dreary old Titanfall and just makes it so much more lifelike. It's awesome. And I'll actually show you how to install this and uh, how to install the toggle HUD mod, because I was having a bit of trouble myself. So I'll show you how to install that and hopefully it works for you. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing you want to do is actually go into Origin, and you're going to want to turn off Origin Overlay. So just go into Application Settings and Origin In-Game, and then Enable Origin. Mine is already off, but if yours is on, just turn it off. Um, there's, there could be a problem too, that uh, your game could be in Restricted Mode. Uh, right here, Restricted Access Mode, and just to, to get rid of that, or like to get out of restricted, restricted access mode, you've got to clear your origin cache. Uh, just look up and do that, it's super simple. But after you do that, just disable origin in game. And then you're good to go. Next step would be to install Reshade. Uh, just go to reshade.me, and this is the website. You just download it, and then you should get a reshade.exe setup thing right here. It'll be in downloads, and you want to select the game to reshade. All my games are going to come up here. Um, you're just basically going to want to find Titanfall when it loads, and then click it. There are two different Titanfall versions for some reason. There's a trial and a just a, a regular .exe file. Do not pick trial, just do the, this one, regular Titanfall 2.exe, and then do Direct 3, D11, 2012, or 10, 11, 12, whatever. I already have it installed, but I'll just go ahead and show you what it's like. So these are all the actual effect packs. You don't have to install all of them, but I suggest you do uh, because they just have a lot of cool stuff. I don't know all of them, but I know a lot of them have a lot of cool things. So I'm not going to install them, but after you after you do, it would give you like something like this, and then you'd be good to go. But I'm not going to install them, so I'm just going to click out of that. So after that, you're going to want to go into the Titanfall local files. Here you'll find the reshade.ini file and a file should have been created called dxgi.d11. This file is just basically like it was created from the reshade. Uh, do not change the name of this file, do not edit it in any way. All you're going to want to do is basically, all you're going to want to do is just copy dxgi.ddl into bin 64 retail and just copy it in there and it should be good to go um, and also <clears throat> another file dxgi.ddl that should i don't know why mine's here but <laughs> it works like that um, just copy that into bin 64 retail and then you'll be good to go and that's how to get the reshade texture pack working and after that's good you just boot up titanfall and you should be able to, once you boot it up, it's just say reshade installation successful. You can complete the tutorial. I've already done that, so I don't really need to do it, but I'll show you the boot successfully. And here you go, you should see something like this, but I've already completed the tutorial. And you press home and here's all your stuff. And you just mess around with that. So that is the reshade tutorial, but I know I I was having trouble trying to get this and the toggle HUD mod working so I'll show you how to do that real quick so basically you're gonna want to go to Nexus mods and search up the Titanfall toggle HUD mod you'll get a executable like this and you should get all three of these files and basically you could just literally follow the guide on Nexus mod and drag all of these files into the main.exe or the the Titanfall what you call it local files like this grab my stuff right here and then I drag all these and then bing, bang, boom you get the mod but then you'd also need to the this DDL file this D3 D11 file right here this needs to be in 64.retail right here, bin 64 retail, and that's where that needs to be. Mine's already in here, 
and yeah and then after that it should work um, <laughs> that's about it copy all that into there and then you should be good and then if you did it all right you should be able to use shaders while also being able to toggle the HUD on and off and if you did it all correctly you can basically start up Titanfall, go into a match, I'm going to a private game, and basically mess around with all of the shaders. So yeah, there are pretty there are a lot of goofy ones, but yeah, this is the game originally. I can't believe it. It's actually insane how much life it actually brings into this game just by just like increasing the saturation and whatnot. But yeah, if you all enjoyed this video or have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I might be able to help you. Um, yeah, there's some pretty goofy ones, <laughs> like Night Vision. But yeah, if you guys have any questions or any comments, just leave them in the video below. This only works on PC. I don't know if I could get it working on console. But yeah, thank you so much, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. to salty cool kid 101 the best channel on youtube <laughs> yeah man baba boy and follow him on twitch at salty cool kid 101 <laughs> hey bye now me brothers yeah man looks like there's been a change of plans